Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours, your one-stop shop for all things Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new product from the Alpha India Group called AIG Manager and Traffic Controller. This freeware utility looks to completely revamp the AI traffic system in Microsoft Flight Simulator with custom flight plans and new AI traffic models and liveries. The included one-click installer does everything you need to get the new AI flight plans and download the necessary airplane models from Airbus, Boeing, Bombardier and Embraerjet Airlines. A wide variety of real-world airline liveries are also included and the results should bring much more life to the simulator. With busy airports and more activity in the airspace. The planes fly real routes according to the older schedules, summer of winter 2018 and 19. The intention of this video is to help you install manage, understand, and run this mod in the sim successfully. I believe this product is very useful, and based on the request for a setup guide and tutorial, it seems quite a popular option for injecting more realism into the sim. I have to be honest and say this is probably the best AI traffic mod that I've seen so far with this simulator. And I want to thank Maher Meriden for all his help with structuring this tutorial. He's been instrumental in some of the details, and will also be helping to answer any of the questions in the comments. So thanks so much, I really appreciate your input. When you do the tutorial, I recommend that you pause the video often, because sometimes they don't stop after I give instructions, otherwise the video will be so long. I've got to warn you guys, this process takes quite a bit of patience, it's a bit fiddly to set up, and it can be a bit frustrating. Bear in mind, when you first start opening the AI Manager software, it will take a while to open. I kept getting not responding, but I just left it even up to about 10 minutes sometimes, and then it would work. I don't know what was going on. Maybe it's my system. I'm not sure. But just got to be patient. Take it step by step. Pause the video. Listen to what I say. Watch what I do on the screen, and hopefully you'll get there in the end. It is a pain to set up, but once it's set up, I do think it's probably the best AI traffic mod so far. The first thing I want to go through is how to install the mods. The first thing you need to do is go to the Alpha India Group website and hover over the software menu and click on AI Manager. The one you want to click on is the Public Beta 1.1. Once downloaded, you just locate the zip folder and you need to extract all those files from the zip folder onto your hard drive. You can just make a folder for this and put everything inside there. I've done that on my desktop for you so you can see it. So what I'll do, I'll just drag the files into that folder. For the second mod, it's the same procedure. You hover over the software menu, click on Traffic Controller, and download the zip folder. Once you've got the zip folder on your hard drive, you open it, select all the files, and drag it into a different folder that you've made. Here you can see mine on my desktop. So you should have both mods in two different folders. First, we'll look at the AI Manager. What this does, it manages all the different files and you use this as a database before using the traffic controller later to inject the traffic into the sim. So open the folder, right click on the AI Manager EXE file and run as administrator. The first time I did this, it started not responding after about three minutes and I just left it and left it and after about five or six minutes it worked. So just keep that in mind. Once loaded, you'll see the main UI window. You go onto the left and click on settings. Next, you click on flight plans. And here you can see the minimum activity is 1% and the maximum is 99. I just left that alone. You've got to make sure you check mark the use AIGFP files. Next, you need to set the AIGTC directory to the file path. This is where I select the AIG traffic controller folder on my desktop. So you'll do the same for yours wherever it is. So you're basically pointing the manager to the controller. Next, click on the cookies tab located in the upper row. The next thing you need to do is register and log in to both the Alpha India Group forum and the AV Sim. If you haven't registered before, you just need to go ahead and do this. So you just click on OK and go through the motions of actually registering for each site. Once you've logged in, you can simply click out of the window and go into the other login. It's the same process, but you'll get a few more dialog windows. Just click OK and Yes, work your way through them, and then register here again, click OK, and eventually close the window. So now you're logged into the system, and next time you use it, you just click on Login, and it will go through it automatically. Next, you've got to click on AIGAIM-OCI at the top tab. Click on Setup. Click on Next. At the top, you can see the OCI directory is pointed towards my community folder. So just make sure you select your community folder for that. In the AIGTC directory at the bottom here, 
you should point this towards your traffic controller folder. Remember mine was on my desktop? I'll be pointing it towards the same folder. Lastly, click save in the top right. Next, you're gonna to go to the flight plans on the left hand menu this time, and this will take you through to the flight plans. Here you can see and select all the different types of airlines, as well as repaints and aircraft files. You can install these manually or use the OCI install that does it for you. So let's take a look at how to actually install these. To get the liveries, click online on the top tab and just look for an airline that you want to install. Here I've chosen Virgin Atlantic. So I'll just click on install. A dialog window will open. And you click on install using OCI and then click install again. And it'll take a few minutes to load in. Once it's loaded, the window will close. Here you can see I'm trying to find Singapore Airlines. Sometimes when you try and install them like this, it doesn't have a specific file. So what you'll do, you'll click on install using OCI again, just like normal. It gives you the information about the airline there and everything. And you click on install again, but this time it comes up with a dialog box saying that it does not have a specific file and you need to go online and search for it. There you go, there's a dialog box there. So you click OK and it takes you directly to the link where you can download the zip folder and install the rest of the mod. When you download it, just make sure you copy and paste it into the AIG flight plans folder there so the application can find it. And then go on to click install and finish the installation. Alternatively, you can skip any kind of manual download just by checking on skip manual downloads. And in my opinion, the best way to get these is to select multiple airlines at once and just bulk install them. To select more than one airline at once, just hold down the control button as you click the checkboxes. And finally, click the green OCI bulk button and that will install everything. We can now move on to the next tool. And now we have all the flight plans and liveries ready. We'll use the traffic controller to inject this into the sim. There are a few things we need to set up first before we do that. First of all, right click on the AIG Tech Traffic Controller EXE file and create a shortcut. Next, right click on the shortcut and add hyphen MSFS20 as the parameter in the target box. There is a PDF tutorial in the traffic controller folder if you want to refer to that. The reason why we're typing this into the target box is so it directs the traffic controller directly to the sim. Once you're done, click apply and OK. Now start the traffic controller program using that shortcut you just created. Click yes to open the exe file. Once it's open, you need to check the box that uses AIGFP. Next, you've got to locate the folder called AI traffic hyphen OCI hyphen beta which is in your community folder. You need to make sure this directory points to that folder within your community folder and not the community folder itself, rather that exact folder which I just spoke about. And lastly, click on save settings. The next thing you need to do is start the sim and have the traffic controller app open. And in the settings menu, click on inject traffic and then connect. And the way you'll know you're connected is it'll say connected like that and the simulator time will be displayed. Then you can click on the map and here you'll see all the different traffic in the area that you're in. So I'm at LAX and you can see everything here. And if you click on a plane, you can see more details about it. So I definitely think it's worth exploring the menus here in terms of the map and the different settings you can have a look at. And the last group of settings is the sim settings. These sim traffic settings are quite straightforward and they're recommended by the developer for the most authentic experience in the simulator. The good news is, is that you can use these same traffic settings whether you're playing in VR or in PC mode. So you need to set the traffic to AI offline. You can use it online, but it's still going through some testing, but offline works really well. I've got my AI aircraft traffic density set to 50. That's a personal preference. It's not related to this mod. So you can have that however you want it. You've got to set the ground traffic density to zero and make sure you turn off both multiplayer and AI generic plane models off. So that's the complete process of how to download install, organize, manage, and inject top class AI traffic into the sim. This is hands down the best traffic mod that I've seen on this simulator. It's probably been the most difficult video tutorial that I've made, but I really hope it helps you guys get this amazing mod into your sim and enjoying this realism that I'm getting. Again, this is easily the best AI traffic mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and I'm really excited for it to be developed further and come out of beta. And please do let us know in the comments your thoughts about the mod. And please, guys, just try and be patient with it. I know it's frustrating. It took me hours to do this video, so I really hope it helps you. Anyway, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with other simmers. And I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.